afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're in Sydney now, so we're going to have a few people are coming back. Uh, my name's Craig Tombler. Uh, I'm, uh, I work in the Up 2.0 area, and I'm presenting sort of officially, uh, because my department knows that I'm here. Um, but really what this is actually more about, uh, it's actually, uh, it's, it's more of an opportunity to get people's thoughts and ideas uh, after I've presented you something that we've uh, recently launched and been working on for some time. Um, so my region website is possibly one of the newest development websites. Um, it's through the Department of Regional Australia, Regional Development and uh, Local Government I work for um, managing the project here. Uh, the website was basically established to become uh, sort of a central location for uh, people across Australia to basically be able to go and find government data about their region of Australia, looking at it from a geographic perspective, whereas most government websites look at things on a topic-based perspective. So you go to my hospitals to find out hospital information, but only a couple of those might be near where you live, and the rest of them probably aren't that interesting to you a lot of the time. Uh, but the idea of, of my region was that we would grab that information, we grab information from all our government departments at all levels of government and then put it together and basically say, okay, if you live in, uh, say, um, you know, the Southern Highlands, here's all the information on the Southern Highlands on the services government provides in that area, the demographic information that we have from the ABS, uh, all types of information on government projects and all that sort of thing together. So that's the part, first part of it, is provide all that information in a single place. Um, the other part of it was to also provide uh, basically an empowerment tool for communities um, across Australia to have conversations with each other and with government in a way that would allow their views to be taken on board by government and used in policy processes. So you know, definitely people have lots of ways of having conversations on the out there with their communities. Um, however, it's often hard for government agencies to kind of pick up all those fragmented conversations and actually pull them together in some kind of useful way that's, that can be used as business intelligence inside of government to actually work in the formal processes that we have. Now, it would be much nicer if actually government were able to actually monitor all of those channels, work out where people were living and what they were saying, what the issues were, and what the opportunities were. But frankly, that's just not practical, not now, and it may not be practical in the future. So my region becomes the place where they can have those conversations in their communities, um, and also government is able to use it in various ways. So that's very, very important for us. Um, we are using uh, a number of social media channels. They're more an outreach for us. They're ways to basically be part of those conversations, have, have beachhead in those different channels. And the, uh, the idea ultimately is to then have people come back to comment through the website. Uh, because we basically know which region they live in, and it helps us with information that way. So this is basically what the website looked like. Uh, it was a little bit earlier. We have changed a lot of things on our page, and it updates really, really regularly. Um, as you see, we've got a really simple menu, um, basically six, six different topics, and the focus on it is either explore the data or participate with your community. Those are the two focuses of the website. We also have news where we're trying to pick up lots of regional news and information that doesn't get picked up commonly through newspapers, doesn't get picked up through other channels. And actually, over time, we haven't got that built in yet, we'll be able to get a regional news feed of the different things happening in the region. Um, so it's a little bit more than a local town newspaper, um, and it's a little bit more than focused as well. But the idea is that it provides people with information on what's going on, and that becomes an out of context for people to have conversations. The other thing we have up there is ideas, which I'll go through a little bit later. But that's really, at the moment, a feedback tool for us, and it will evolve into basically a system for allowing people to share ideas. So why was it built in the first place? Um, it came directly out of the, uh, the uh, Gillard uh, Labor Party's uh, agreement with the independents. Um, so basically, it came part of the commitment to regional Australia, where they basically wanted to empower people uh, across Australia, particularly those who didn't live in you know, major cities, the, the third of the population of like major cities, to basically have a bigger say in what was going on in government nationally. And 
and also to try and uh, get information out to those people to say, okay, these are this is what is actually happening in your area that can support you. Because people have a fairly low level of understanding about what's going on because the government isn't currently providing it very well to those people. Um, so one particular target, and this is for the future target, is it is actually going to provide a spatial impact um, the, the, the Australian budget. Uh, and that'll be very, very interesting for people to basically say, okay, you know, there's all this billions of dollars spent on various things. How much of that actually gets spent on services or facilities or infrastructure, whatever it is in my region? Uh, now that's actually really hard to do. There's, there's basically uh, two countries in the world who've made it work in some level. Um, one in South America and, uh, and uh, Denmark in uh, Europe. Um, and both of them are quite a bit smaller than us. Um, and um, you know, it's, it's only done to a certain level, it's not done in a, in a graphical, you know, that base data reach wide. So this for Australia is, is pretty much leading edge. So it's not going to be a little bit in the near future. It's going to take a bit of time because we have to firstly uh, work with finance to firstly work out how you go about making this stuff. And then we have to work with every government agency to say, okay, how do we have to modify government systems to get your, your budgets in the appropriate sort of context? But it is a, but it is a fairly important thing, and this is actually you know, fairly bilaterally supported. Government. So it's going to be progressing over, over a couple of years. Uh, it also, for our, for our department, our department is regionally based. We're the first geographically focused federal government that our goal is to actually represent all the regions in Canberra and influence national policy so that it reflects the different sort of needs that people in different areas of Australia have. Because um, that was sort of identified as a big hole at federal level in that you, know, you make one size fits all policy and this is at least a level lower than that. There are 55 regions across Australia so it's 55 sizes fits all. So it helps take it down that level. Um, at the same time, working very closely with states. Um, so we are a central government agency, which is very important in this, because it means we get to see and comment on every single um, policy um, or cabinet paper that goes through, and we provide a lot of advice and support. Um, and we have people out in, uh, in the region across Australia who basically are on the ground continuously. We manage a network of RDAs across the country who feed this information back, from sort of like a community level, they're actually not government employees. Um, we, we do give them funding and they employ some people, but there are also a lot of volunteers involved in those. Um, some of them run very well, some of them don't run so well, the usual sort of thing you expect. But the important thing is that they're people who live and work and own businesses in the region to provide information directly to Canberra to go through the policy. What my region does to extend that is it gives us the ability to then also directly talk to communities, engage with those commu with the communities, not necessarily through the RDAs. So for the RDAs, this also becomes a tool to help them engage with their local communities to do their planning, their strategy set, because they set a strategy every year, and then we give out grants. We announced some grants actually last week, 150 million worth um, across Australia. Um, to basically projects that RDAs basically say, yep, endorse, this is within the strategic priorities for this region, this is what the community wants to do. Um, the other part of it is that we're working to make my region a central point that all, uh, that all other government agencies can use to have conversations with different parts of Australia, or with all of Australia at once if we want. So it has forums, it has blogs, as an idea system in mind, not really more functional. Um, but the aim is that we can say to an agency, well, you want to hold a consultation in this region, or you want to you know, do a listening tour around Australia, why don't we hold, why don't we manage the online component through my region? Because uh, firstly, we don't have to struggle through IT teams to get these things built, because we've already got them in place, we've got analysis systems and other things that are happening to support you. And secondly, over time, as more people come into my region and use it, and we have these conversations build up, the business intelligence part of it is very, very powerful because we can look back over a number of years and say, this is how community sentiments in a region have changed. This is what they were looking for then. This is what they were looking for 
for them now. So it really helps with you know, the policy setting over time as well. Um, and finally, uh, the website very firmly supports the effort to converge and the FOI agenda and the innovation agenda of government. Um, so it's position square when we all those, um, which for me personally is very important. Um, and I think that it's also a kind of good example for how to consult the government over time. So, in the first release, as I said, we've got the explore, which is about data visualizations. We've only got a limited number of data sets at the moment, but we won't be working with, particularly with uh, the um, uh, finance in terms of getting most of the information on data we've got come to you and basically rolling into my region. We're also working with the ABS and data, data providers to basically pull all the publicly available data we can and group it into my region in, in meaningful formatic ways. Um, that will be working in progress because no one has done this in a single place. We've we'll also been pulling all the economics to get started in a lot of project, investment project data. And currently we've currently enrolling in all of the grants across Australia which we as well. So the aim is that if you want to know something about what's, you know, what money is available, what government spending, you can come to my region and find out what is happening in your area. Uh, the ideas and feedback is a crowdsourcing tool, essentially an ideation tool. Um, similar to, you know, uh, Dell's um, um, ideas tool or Starbucks ideas tool. Um, there are a few of them have been used in Australia, but for, for city plans and things like that, but none's been used in a more free form way. We've built it initially as feedback for the website. It's designed so you can roll out instances for any particular RDA government department, um, local government, to use themselves. Um, so it's brought in that way. And finally, the use function as well. Um, so this is just a quick look at the explore function that's in that part uh, on, on that one particular region. Um, you can zoom into a, to a certain level and do various things to turn data sets on and off. Um, this is a look at forums, that's at a high level. We're actually running um, 58 forums up front. So every region in Australia, that includes cities as well, as so it's everywhere. Um, we also have the ability to set up restricted uh, forums where groups can put together and we've already got a couple of those on as well. Um, and that's important for groups of stakeholders and government who need to have conversations, not actually confidential, but they need to have a conversation before they actually necessarily go out. So a lot of them are coordination based. And finally, this is just a quick look at the ID function in terms of how it works. We basically break you know, vote things up and down. We have a process flow where things are proposed and they go under review and they're either going to be implemented or not implemented and then they are actually implemented. So we've built that flow in from day one to basically allow people to actually see how things step through the process. It's not just an ideas and it's a people and throwing ideas. There's, there's some scrutiny involved in it. So this is all the contact details, but this is where we actually get to the main part discussion this afternoon. And that is really for me to ask you guys, you know, what would actually make this sort of facility useful to different people out there, to government agencies, to communities, and what is your consideration time to do a little bit of work? Sorry, Pat. Yeah, um, I work in immigration and uh, last week we were actually in regional Western Australia. I had a look at the forums on, on my region and I understand it's a, it's a very new project. Um, two weeks out. Yeah, two weeks out, I know. Um, and, and I just wondered what the strategy was to um, promote it and, and to, to build participation because uh, from our experience, we don't have any travel budget. And yeah, I, I've been pushing for stuff like this here on a diac, uh, and I think it's a really, really a great tool. Um, but obviously last week, you know, two weeks out, it, wasn't, it was never going to work. Um, but if, if there's sort of that, I talked to some guys from the RDA boards and, and they didn't seem very, I suppose, aware of this sort of stuff. Uh, and, and, and they didn't also, I, the vibe I got was that the engagement wasn't there at the moment. No, the yeah. engagement's not there yet. Okay. It's two weeks in. Yeah. We did not do a big camera watch. Um, I don't think that was really Uh, but from our perspective, we let out with a very soft launch because we also this is it, we also have beta at the top of the website. This is a beta website.